Welcome to the Davis Newscast for Thursday, May 25th, 2023. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The inaugural first federal cooperative credit union's science, technology, engineering, and math STEM challenge was held on Wednesday, May 25th at the Malcolm Gishad Recreational Park. The competition, which was held as part of the Ministry of Education's STEM Week 2023, saw students from all 10 primary schools on the island, as well as students from the Charlestown Secondary and Gingerland Secondary Schools, apply knowledge and skills gained in STEM subjects, perform a variety of tasks. After a keenly contested intellectual battle, the Ivor Waters Primary School, represented by Zaire Jeffers, Tivon Watley and Kimani Lawrence, emerged winners of the primary school category with a total of 52 points. Second place spot went to the St. Thomas's Primary School, represented by Elijah Clark, Becky Hamilton, Giovanni Hamilton, Kalyana Semple, and Cyprian David, with a total of 51 points. And after tiebreaker round, the Maud Cross Preparatory School, represented by Julio Gonzalez, Michael Jones, Sene Merchant, Rahim Brown, and Winnie Zeng, secured a third place with 50 points. In the secondary school category, the Charlestown Secondary School emerged winners, scoring 67 points, while the Gingerland Secondary School attained a total of 66 points. Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Liburd, spoke on the idea behind the STEM initiative and expressed hope that it would eventually bring positive change to the island of Nevis. The whole idea about STEM is to enhance learning. Learning through making science, technology, engineering, and math exciting so that our students would get that love for those subjects. A learning in math and science helps to develop critical thinking skills. And critical thinking skills can be important in every aspect of life. We are hopeful that our th thrust into STEM will bring us some big changes and would bring some great reward for us here in St. Kitts and Nevis. STEM Week will culminate with a STEM Expo at the Malcolm Gishad Recreational Park on Friday, May 26th, beginning at 9 a.m. The Grand Exposition, sponsored by the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, will showcase STEM projects created by students during the school year. The general public is invited to attend the event, which will also feature a judged competition for best school project and offer those in attendance chances to win a variety of prizes by engaging in activities. Food and beverages will also be on sale. Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mark Brantley, will host his next press conference on Tuesday, May 30th. The press conference will be held at the Cabinet Room on the second floor of the Social Security Building at Pinney's Estate. Premier Brantley will provide an update on matters pertaining to Nevis, and members of the press will have the opportunity to ask questions. The Premier's press conference will be broadcast live from 10 a.m. on Nevis Television, NTV, Channel 99, NevisTVOnline.com. NTV Go App, Nevis Television Facebook page, and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. The Davis Island Administration, NIA, in collaboration with the Medical University of the Americas, MUA, encourages persons who are interested in health sciences to apply for the MUA NIA scholarship opportunity. Two scholarships will be awarded for successful candidates to pursue undergraduate studies at an accredited higher education institution. The scholarships support awardees for up to four years of studies whilst attending the Medical University of the Americas 
Americas, the University of the West Indies, the University of Technology, or any four-year U.S.-based institution. Persons eligible to apply must be at least 18 years of age, be citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis, have at least five CSEC passes, including mathematics, English, and one science, be active in community service, and be in possession of a university acceptance letter. The priority areas for 2023 include optometry, environmental health, nutrition and dietetics, biomedical engineering, occupational therapy, speech therapy, social work, counseling, health information management, occupational health and safety, radiology, digital health, health communication, pharmacology, supply chain management, and gender and development studies. Candidates must present the required documents by June 2, 2023 to Chairperson, MUA, NIA Scholarship Committee, in care of the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Health, Administration Building, Charlestown, Nevis. For additional guidance on application procedures, or for an application form, contact Shalisa Martin Clark, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, or Shanola Murray Gill, Training Officer in the Ministry of Human Resources. Still to come, nomination for the 25 most remarkable teens open. The details after this break. Tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. BBSTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me ain't see and you ain't see NNC. Welcome back. Nominations for the 25 Most Remarkable Teens program are open. Nominees must be no younger than 13 years by the end of a nomination year. Nominees must be no older than 19 years by the end of nomination year. Nominees must have demonstrated capacity in nominated category and have a record of remarkable character, contributions to society, and accomplishments. Successful nominees are required to attend all capacity building workshops as part of the program. Successful nominees are required to plan and implement two volunteer projects during their year of service. Successful nominees and their parents are required to sign a confidentiality agreement. No mention of success is to be discussed prior to the award ceremony. Forms are now available at the Department of Youth upstairs the Reliable Motors Complex in Charlestown. The award categories are broad and include areas such as academics, courage to overcome, dance, entrepreneurship, Leadership, environmental science, leadership, most promising, overcoming disability, photography, school pride, spiritualism, volunteerism, and youth activism. The full listing is posted online at youth.gov.kn. The deadline for nomination is Friday, May 26, 2023. The following is a notice from the Nevis Culturama Festival Committee. Troops wishing to participate in the Culturama 49 Emancipation Juve celebrations on Monday, August 7th and the Culturama 49th Street Parade on Tuesday, August 8th, 2023 are asked to register their names at the Culturama Secretariat on or before July 7th, 2023. Meantime, vendors wishing to operate booths during the Culturama 49 are Craft and Food Fair on Saturday, August 5th, 2023 at the Malcolm Gishad Recreational Park are asked to register their names at the Culturama Secretariat on or before Friday, June 30th, 2023. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.